Hey guys, how are you? I am back again with my channel, of course. And I am working on one for my sale. I started with the dog. Ain't it cute? Like, look at the fireplace in the background. Oh my goodness. Look at the little presents. So cute. This is one of the ones I open on Sunday. So if you haven't seen that video, I would go back and uh, watch it. If you wanted to see the unboxing. Or unbaking. Unbaking. Of it, rather. So yeah, I'm still very excited that they have asked me to be a part of um, this craft thing that they're doing because normally they would have a craft fair but since COVID hit it's not going to happen this year unfortunately so that's why they're putting stuff in their store that they have in the museum so when when I go back on Thursday and finish setting up because I have so much space actually and it's a five tier shelf and, um, what else was I saying? Oh, yeah, it was a five-tier shelf, of course, right? So, I didn't expect that much space. So, I am very happy and honored to have that much space. So, I needed to bring more in than what I originally have. So, yeah, that is happening on Thursday. I'll take a picture of it and post it on YouTube just to show you guys what I have in my, sh uh, at the shop there. So, yeah. Okay, um, what else is going on? Not too much has been going on lately, um. I've just been doing a lot of diamond painting, of course. Okay, so let's actually <clears throat> talk about pens. Now, I bought a bunch of these pens off of a girl in Australia. She she makes them, you know. They're re they were really pretty. This one is still really good. So, I'm like, what, a couple of them started to crack, and I don't understand why they cracked at all. And, and I've spent a lot of money, well not like hundreds of dollars of money, but I've spent about 30 bucks because she was having a deal. So, I'm like, why is my pen broke, you know? I am very gentle with my pens. Like, you can even see right now, I'm not, do, I'm not using it too hard or nothing. So, why, like I said, why is it breaking? And she said, well, it depends on how hard you... I'm like, I told her, look, I am very gentle handed with my pens. So I just... I was very frustrated with her. Because not only it had happened once, but half of these pens I bought broke in half. Now, I still have a picture of it on my phone. And I'll show you... Um... A picture on YouTube when I get a chance to do it because I, I really want you guys to see this so I'm like I don't I don't understand it I was just very mad so I asked her for my refund back and she she has the nerve the nerve to only give me 
five dollars back. I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I I don't want my full money back, you know. Because it's only fair. You you provide me with a broken pen or like it's not my fault that you had a bad batch of clay. That's what I'm probably assuming the problem was that the the clay that she used was bad. Because that's the only way that I thought of why it would be cracking and splitting in half, right? So, anyways. So, she wanted me to mail every single one of these pens back to her in order to get my money back. My money back. Yeah. I was not happy. And I said, look, if you give me the full refund, I would be gladly to, you know, mail you back the pens. But she didn't do that. And so I was so mad and flustered that that happened to me. So I still have not found a good pen. And I've been doing this craft for two and a half years. So, I mean, these pens are all right. But I thought about getting an acrylic pen and I've heard people say that it cracks and it breaks. And so I was just really iffy on... On, um, ordering them. So, I went on Amazon and I ordered myself these pens. They're like little hearts. And they're cute. Now, I really like this pen. But when I want to use, like, my multi-placer, I just switch pens different back and forth, right? So, I heard about these party placers, and I lucked out. I am so, 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 so happy, because I've heard good things about that store, and what it is, it's a pen, not like this, but it's it's a crayon, okay? And it smells. And the smell that I got was Twilight Woods. And I don't know what it smells like. Um, I'll do an unboxing for it as soon as I get it. So, yeah, I, I was really mad about the girl that made these. What is that noise? So, yeah. Because, you know, this was my very first clay pen I've purchased. Um, the one, like the one that my friend, uh, she gave me, I've had no problems with. None whatsoever, and you've seen me work out with it before. It's like a purple and gold pen. It's kind of like this, but it's not as not as heavy, per se. So yeah, I only have a few of these left because I just tossed the broken ones out. So, and not only that, with the ones that I'll be getting. Um, you don't have to fill it with wax. Which is nice. So I'm going to do a, a drill with me. Probably using. That pen. And I cannot wait to get it. Because I lucked out. I. And when they have their shop on. You have to, like, order it right away or else you miss out because, you know why? 
they're really popular and not only that they sell out so fast so I was lucky to even get one or else I would have gotten like the mint one or the pumpkin the pumpkin one that's what kind I would have gotten so yeah that was back in like I said March when I ordered these so I'm trying to be as careful as I can because I want it to be a little bit last longer than that so yeah if you have any suggestions for me on what type of pens to use please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments for me or if you even uh, want me to try a pen I will buy it and do a review for you Because with diamond painting, you can never have more than just one pen. Okay, enough of this color. Holy crap, it's already been 10 minutes already? Wow. Okay, let's do some white. In 19 is K. Okay. I figured I'll work a little bit on the dog. Yesterday, I was so exhausted. My arm, and all in here. Oh, it hurt so much. I was doing a lot of diamond painting yesterday. I had a... Okay, so... My aunt... For... First, let me get to the reason why my arm is hurting. And my aunt offered me to, to help with my sale. And I'm like, wow, okay, thank you. So yesterday, I had her come over to help finish the Christmas cards. I had, so her and Ethan both came over. Ethan is my cousin. Um, he, I got him in a diamond painting too, right? So, <laughs> I had the table, like, right in front of me here. And, um, they were both just doing it. I was doing it too. I was working on this one for a while, and I... <sighs> For me to not spill my beads or whatever, I like to hold my hand here. So that's why my arm was, like all my arm in here is so sore. So, but it was worth it. Because like I said, I had myself a little diamond painting party. And, you know, I said to myself, hey... Not instead of having Santa's little helpers, I have Sam's little helpers. <laughs> oh, I was just cracking myself up, laughing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my. It was just funny, and I had it in my head, and it just. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm like, I'm telling this to my mom, and then, of course, she cracks up laughing, and then I was telling this to my friend, too, and, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to clean up my glasses, because they're a little bit dusty. Hey, yeah, my mom, she's doing a snowman one. Uh, the, one of the snowmans I got yesterday. Uh, 
hopefully I get to finish my Halloween dog one that I was doing. Because that one will be really cute. It's the one I got from Amazon. The one that I did a two-pack on. Like the... If you go back and see it in the video. I have to figure out how to do that eye. If anyone knows YouTube and knows how to do stuff with the eye. Because I guess it's like it would be in a corner where I would normally post it. But I don't know how to do that. Because that would be extremely helpful if anyone wants to go back and look at my stuff. I need to learn how to do that. This one is turning out so cute. I'm hoping to get this one done on by Thursday so I can bring it to the shop but if not then that's okay because I have the cards and a few other ones so ouch I had him But yeah, I know yesterday was just so much fun with my aunt and my cousin here helping me out. It, we were just having a ball. <laughs> I had the music on. I had... I mean, that's the thing. Like, with my family, if anyone needs any help with anything, everyone is pretty much jumps just right in. That's what I'm kind of grateful for. Now, compared to my other family, not so much. <laughs> it just shows how different everyone is. I mean, I'm sure if, if I had to ask some of my other family members, like on my dad's side, they may help, but I'm not really that close with my dad's side of the family. Like, I try to be, but there's just so much that I just don't even, like, I should say I don't even bother with them, but I do, I, I do, you know. I, like, with Christmas time... Since we do ours on Christmas Eve at my grandma's house, on Christmas Day, I would go to my aunt's house because my aunt, she has a big house like my grandmother's. And so it's a nice big house and it, and it has a nice upstairs and a nice downstairs area and everything like that. So they always have like a bunch of people over and everything like that on Christmas Day. But it's just... I, I'm just not really close with them. It's hard to, It's hard for me to talk. Uh, I mean, they ask me how I am and stuff like that. They're always so nice to me. Um, it's just different situation, right? I'm not really close with them as I am to my mom's side of the family. That's why with my mom's side of the family, like I said, if anyone asks for help with anything they would come running and helping that's just my grandma my mom's side of the family so yeah I mean don't get me wrong I love all my family it's just it's very hard for me to connect on my dad's side even with my brothers and sisters, I hardly see my sisters. My one sister, she she lives um, 
my, like my parents are divorced, obviously. Um, but uh, my one sister, she doesn't even live in Windsor anymore. She lives up in London. And so I, I hardly see her. And even with my other two sisters, I haven't seen them since, oh boy, when was the last time I did see them? You know what, I think it may have been, when it, I know I've seen them once, and that was before COVID. It was either right after I got back from my cruise that I went on back in February, or it was after. So yeah, I I don't I don't even talk to them. They don't talk to me. Like, I try and message them and say, hey, how are you, and stuff like that, and, you know, we just don't, it's not the fact that we don't get along, it's just, they were raised different. They're, mo they're most close with each other than they are with me, and so, yeah, like I said, I try and talk to them when I can. And same thing with my brother. I hardly talk to my brother. He's a teenager now, but even before that, I never had a close relationship with him. But anyways, like I said, it's just, it is what it is, right? You can see how the difference is with both, both of my family. Hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just sitting crisscross up the sauce. <laughs> Sorry, this if you saw my leg. <laughs> okay, wow, we're already at 22 minutes. Okay. They don't feel like much, but I'm going to try it. And... Okay, that is that. Um, can I show you? I don't know if I can. No, I can't. Damn. Well, let me. I don't want to make it a long video, so that's why I'm kind of ending it a little short. But I hope you guys liked it. Anyways, this is how much I have done. I did that dark color on his ears and around the mouth and a little bit white on 
on there. So, yeah, that is it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and just keep on diamond painting or whatever craft you do. If it's coloring, cross stitching, you know, anything to keep yourself busy, it helps. <laughs> Alrighty. Bye, guys. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> and like and share. <laughs> Stay safe. <laughs> Alright. Bye, guys.